Well, finally, after what seems an age, it appears it's time to wipe down those yokes and throttle quadrants, as PMDG have announced the imminent release of this 737-700 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. From a very recent post on their forum, I think we can measure this now in days rather than weeks or months. Robert Rendazzo also let us know what else is in the pipeline. Welcome to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching and let's get started. First out the gate will be the Dash 700 and in the package you'll get three variants. There'll be a passenger version, cargo and a BBJ. BBJ being the Boeing business jet for the business corporate markets. Each variant, as is the case in the real world, will have its own unique cockpit as well as bespoke ground handling services. The interiors of each of the variants will be kitted out appropriately. From the forum posts and a subsequent interview on Sky Blue Radio, I'll leave links in the notes below, we're able to establish that the Dash 600 will be next, followed by the Dash 800 and finally the Dash 900. The time gap between each model release will be about six weeks. So based on that, it'd be fair to expect the Dash 900 in about six months' time. Pricing is still subject to some speculation, but we can guess the Dash 700 and Dash 600 will be more or less the same price, with the Dash 800 and Dash 900 being more expensive. Yes, as you may have guessed from what I just said, PMDG have changed their business model. In the past, you'd buy a base model and then upgrade accordingly, for an additional cost. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, well, each version's going to be sold independently. This is great news if you're only after, for example, the Dash 800. Not such great news if you want to build up the complete fleet. But then again, it will depend on the individual pricing. I think it would be fair to expect it to be somewhat lower than the prepared pricing. Now I'll go further and speculate somewhat below 100 US. PMDG models with their system's depth, massive attention to detail, and real-world accuracy, well, it's never going to be bargain bin. And we shouldn't expect that. Post-initial release, PMDG are expecting a regular upgrade schedule. There'll be an all-new cockpit tablet. New high-res passenger cabins in one and two class configurations, as well as a high-res BBJ layout and cargo layout as appropriate for those two airframes. At time of release, they're saying the res is going to be higher than that currently in the prepared models, but further improvements are anticipated. And there'll be model detail area updates such as the gear bays. And according to the post, we can expect changes and updates to the avionics. Each aircraft will come with customized pushback that you can drive yourself using your hardware controls, which sounds interesting, as well as a multitude of customizable options, failure modes and realism selections. And with all this combined should allow you to match your 737 to just about any configuration available in the real world. For now, it appears that PMDG are going to stick to their traditional product line. So the 737 will be followed by the 777 and then the 747. They did comment, however, that the 737 MAX is also on the cards. There's been no mention of my personal favourite, the Jetstream 41. Oh well, patience is a virtue, they say. One thing that Robert Rondazzo did say during this Sky Blue radio interview. Well, since the introduction of Microsoft Flight Simulator into the market, their traditional market, which was prepared, has seen a 92% drop in sales. And I think it's fair to say that this represents an exodus away from that platform, which is something I can relate to as I've recently uninstalled prepared version 5. For me, Microsoft Flight Simulator is a simulator we always dreamed and hoped of getting. And PMDG bringing the 737 as well as other models into the sim is just another important step in the evolution of this simulator. That's it for now. I'm off to double check my Boeing twin engine configuration on my Bravo throttle quadrant. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves. Bye for now.